They're not even creating the array to store it. So right away, right? Uh, okay. I also remove the the constructor, uh, the false and true, to distinguish whether you need to do it first time or second time. In this case, no need. Database, if it's there, no need to do again. If it's checked previously, because we need to load it the first time to fill in, because we fetch everything from internet the first time. This one, since we actually store it in the SQLite database, you don't bother to check whether you need to load first time or not. If because if there is a data, right, it will load the data no matter what. You don't need it to do the async task. So technically, this async task just to launch so that actually to check whether you need to update or not. Because once you launch this, right, right away you actually will come to this part that actually will check for the last updated. If it's checked equal to the one inside Preference Manager, then it just exit. Lah. I also remove the toes, ah. the toes that actually put not updated. No, no need also. You don't have to tell your user. If that no update, I don't need to tell the user. Update, the user will see the latest info. So it's okay. Okay, so the rest nothing much change. Ah. We need a DB helper, we get a writable database. Why do we do that? Because we only call it once. Even though we're just doing query here, right? This is the DB that used for the whole class until the, you queue it. So we need a writable one ah, because we want to insert also. Cursor, we query up everything. There are some examples last yesterday actually I showed how to query other things up. So if you want to see right, like let's say you want to uh, query for the part that actually you want uh, the show the result of two state right, then you have to do something like this up. Uh, state right. Actually, I forget. Is that right? For example, uh, let's say you want to just show the Swaho and uh, Vera. That's how you do it. Uh. Because every question mark, right, need to have a corresponding string. So, you check state is Swaho or state is Vera. Or, uh, you put an end, right, it wouldn't show anything. Uh. You can't, uh, it's exclusive. Uh. But you can but you can do something else, uh. state or location. But then location is very restricted, uh. there's only one. Uh. The, the, you, get, you get the idea, uh, okay? So now means what? Uh, now means no no restriction, uh, return everything. Uh. That's why you TC us always return now. Uh. But now actually you can add a filter uh, to show which state. You can add a spinner, let the user choose which state to show. Because some user might just interested in which state they want to show, right? Then you don't even bother to actually every time also show every 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 state. But our API right, we will fetch everything also right? Because no there, there is no actually way to fetch only for Vera. Right? I mean this this uh, this data. You might as well fetch everything, right? it doesn't matter. Sorry. This data. Okay, so now come back to here. Any questions? Uh? No questions. Uh? It starts to become like you, you have to rely on the own really. Because we talk. I, I actually explain less and then do more things to me. Uh? Okay, then after that, right, this is the part that actually makes it convenient. Uh? Why? Because if you use a cursor, right, because return from a database is always a cursor. You can directly put the cursor into a simple cursor adapter as long as you only need to do string, string, string and go to string, string, string text, string, text, string, text, string, then it's okay Of course then I say, what if I want to do image view, right? Can also, you just overwrite here lah it, But you see, actually, even though actually we actually use a simple cursor adapter which actually have a string, string, string from three column go to text, string, text, string, text, string in three different text, string technically we actually do our own also lah Oh, you, you still remember, right? The reason why we actually override this way and don't create another class is because I don't want to handle two things. Then the convert view, you remember I got an example that just scroll, 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 it all become red because they recycle the view. Doing this way, we will recycle the view. You don't have to do it yourself. And also, you don't have to do holder. The view holder, if you still remember, we did it before, right? 
we create a classes to hold the text field, text field, text field, so that we don't have to find you by ID every time. But this one we forget to do. Never mind, actually, you've got time, you've got to do it. This one you need to do. Uh, holder is because of this. Uh, I said, oh, I don't know, you, don't, you, can, you have to do it. Uh. Okay? Exercise, uh, you can use it as an exercise. And also, in this case, also, I already show you how actually you get back the, re the value without the array. Why? Because everything is in the cursor. So cursor, you call get cursor, you get the cursor for this list view. Because this is a cursor adapter. So this cursor adapter will return a cursor whenever you call a cursor. And then cursor right, work in a way that if you remember, you can move to first, move to next and so on. In this case, right, if you just want to show a row, right, and there's a position, right, you just move it to that position. Right? You move it to that position, it means you go to that particular row of data. Still there. But let's say this row, right? it will be exactly position I assume is 39. Actually, it's not. Start from 1. Uh, 38, right? this is index 38. Right? Seems like integer increment auto increase start from 1, right? not 0. Right? Okay, so this one is uh, the position. And then we actually can get out the let's say you want the first column, which is uh, let's say first column is not uh, first column is the ID. La. First column is the ID. La. We are not going to use that. Second column is the location. So therefore actually when you call get string one, right, you get exactly the locations. La. In this case, if you do it on position zero, it means you go to the first row and get you a uh, thing here. So get string 1 will return kota dinggi. Get string 2 will return Johor. And get integer, integer 3 will return 51. That's why they go to the first row. Lah. Oh sorry, I didn't even have to add. The first thing one, never mind. Okay. This one we discuss later. Once we have loader. Without loader, this one no meaning. Lah. Of course, you say, what is loader? Loader is another mechanism that actually load the data from cursor to the Please view, which we will do tomorrow lah. Either tomorrow or Saturday lah. Okay, so this one is done. This one set adapter. Once you have an adapter, you set adapter lah. Here also I want to show, because I think I didn't explain yesterday. How to handle on item click. This one is here. Previously, when you have two uh, on item click, we actually ask the array, check the position, get the object, get the property. This one no need. Once you Get, I, you call get item at position from the list view, right? You see, uh, list view is one of the, the... This callback, whenever you click on item on the list view, you get this call, right? This call, right, the first parameter is the list view. Parent means the list view. The list view. So actually, therefore, when you call get item at position from the list view, you get exactly that row. So for example, you click on the first row, which is Kota Dinghi, you get that row. But you have to cast it to cursor because technically every row is actually populated by a cursor so once you call a list view and get item at that position right you cast it to cursor then finish with it because then you actually can get the first string or get the integer or whatever you can do integer is important lah the first one let's say you want let's say you want the, the integer you see once again if you call get item at position they don't let me do it directly. <laughs> but then how come I can manage to do that? I, I thought actually it's not complete for you. Get item at position, and then you get this position. So if it's the first row, right, this should be one. Lah. Okay? But if you don't cast it to cursor, it's just an object. Lah. Means actually you got no info one. Lah. After you cast it to cursor, which actually this only works if it's a cursor adapter. Lah. Then you can get the integer at the zero. What is the thing I do wrong? <laughs> Sorry, yeah. wrong, wrong method. Okay, this one will return the integer. Of why is it the integer important? That's the one actually you can delete data if you want. Remember, SQL, if you have the db, not db. Data uh, ID equal 
But this is annoying. La. You always have to do this thing. La. It's an array. La. And then somehow it's, you need a string. La. You have to cast like that. La. It's very annoying. La. Because technically, la, everything go into the... Uh, hmm? What do I still need? How to delete it here? Delete, 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 delete. One, two, three, right? One, two, three. Uh, oh! Why is it giving me single code? String array. Mm. It's not a string array, it's just an array. Then what's this? Error again. Expected bracket. 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 I can't do this right. I need a bracket. Uh. Or see, I can just directly do this. You know why? This is not a string. It doesn't take string array, uh. it takes a string. Uh. I don't think so. Uh. How do I delete it? Wait, it sounds like. Uh, wait, wait. The seven, the, if you haven't done, checked the Facebook, right, I have to I have heavily modify the slide. Uh. But do I send it here again? Uh, No, I think this is the old one. The one I sent to Facebook, I didn't update here. So I said, uh, See a lot of my phone missing today. I lost all my sources in three weeks, which I still don't understand what happened. But luckily, I uploaded. That one is different, right? That's my only version. The PC one all old one. They all restore back to the. I luckily see all, all the PDF now. I don't have all the ODP file anymore. Because I Google book, right? Suddenly, my slide folder missing. Until now, I also don't understand what happened. I check delete. I check trash can is empty. Let me do it again. It's just gone. <coughs> I think something wrong with the folder. I also thought it's either hidden or extract accidentally dragged to other places. Like <coughs> I said, said, don't have. This one new one. This one still old. Oh, I never update a new one, is it? This is the old one, huh? Where is my new one? The, the Facebook one you download is the old one, is it? What's the approach of open and close and all that? Okay, so this is uh, on create, on upgrade. Where is my delete? Okay? Correct, what? Okay, check again. So you complain on the third parameter, new string array, curly braces, right? Oh, this one is correct. 
Just now I didn't put you, is it? Okay. This is what I mean, sir. Don't, don't run this code, sir. Actually, you can also, sir. You can just click and delete all the row if you want. If you want, sir. Okay, just to them all, sir. Okay, because of that, right, I will put uh, actually this code. Uh, actually, probably you need to put it as a refresh somewhere. So that actually, every time this is called, it's a refresh. Uh. Because it's not, right, after you delete, like, the row still there. Uh. But I'm a bit worried. Uh. You click the ID, come in, delete, refresh. Uh, should be working. Uh. If not, right, you delete it, you click the same row, it just crashes. Uh. Because the ID is gone. If you don't do this side, I think there's a problem. Uh, you click a row, you go and delete the row, you click again, not in the database anymore, crash up. Because they go and see, or is it not crash up? Who? Actually, you can test up. Uh. Don't put this and just delete and see what happens. I click the same one again. Okay? But this one uh, will force it to refresh up. Uh. We just want to show actually how, how is it being used up. Uh. Now you can see the underscore ID, now you can use it, right? Because now you actually can do, like let's say if this is a to-do list, like, right? you click this, you actually can pop up to change the details and all that and so on. That's so why actually you can easily do a to-do list now, like, because you can have a look at the database again. Okay? I hope it's working now. This is the first one, so it will do the refresh. Right? Means actually if it's first one, right? All this will work lah. Da, 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 da. No, I see. Yeah, this is a press install. I uninstall it just now. Okay, so it will finish until here and then come to here. Since it's a true, it's a refresh. <coughs> Means it's a load again. Lah. Oh, this is slow. Oh, because I clean. No, I am so, sometimes so slow because we clean a lot. Okay, I hope it doesn't crash. Okay. Refresh, please. <gasps> Did we miss anything? Why is it not refresh? Right? Should be returned true, right? DB insert. Circuit is wrong. He actually complained about a million of composed circuit. Right? Why? Eh? Then we, 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 this should be correct. Right? Okay. So when you actually modify a method, right? Make sure the 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 the, the SDK still treat it as a override method, uh, not a new method, uh. Okay, so I'm install finished, let's try again. So this time, I have to make sure the first reload should have refresh, right? This one should run now. Hmm. Is this still not run? Oh, already. So actually, technically, we didn't change code, we uh. just make sure it's. We did change, uh, we actually redo a post as a kid. You don't ask me why, why is it like that, I don't ask me, so I have no idea. It just doesn't clean up nicely. So, the post, on post as a kid previously, which tied to a string, to where the array of value was still working. So, they just become now and something, something wrong. Uh. Okay, well, this is working. Uh. So, which means that we actually did come to here, query again and swap out the cursor. That's what we get. Uh. Okay, so now actually we can test this. So we, what we test is actually, now actually every time you click on an item, I get the underscore ID, I delete the line, because we check for that ID equal to the, I uh, will work also. Our column is underscore ID. Send again. <laughs> but send again is okay. Send again is actually it's not uninstalled, it doesn't clear. It won't update lah, but the database is intact lah. Okay? But at least I can use the delete the luckily we didn't click. It's not crash again. Crash also! What did we do?
there are, no, there are some. No, I think we actually uh, mistakenly use the true or false format. If I don't need it. What x6 moment zero? Moment zero. Okay, one x6. It was Boolean, right? Boolean, man. Why you complain, man? Huh? <laughs> yeah, that's why I say you should not modify like that. Huh? Now you know what I said actually at the beginning, right? You did plan nicely, put in the correct type, 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 then just override and let it create. Now I actually complain about this. Which actually I return, huh? Which actually means this one is correct, huh? This one also correct, huh? Is a boolean man? Boolean man, boolean man. You ask me also, I don't know what to say. Okay, you start to add up. Something is wrong, but I don't know what's wrong. Okay? Why is it? Keep on checking for boolean which is wrong. What if six moments zero? What if six is this line? Right? Mm. Which is what we return now? What if six? We got still return somewhere! Now I know already. Huh? Return false. Okay, now we know what's the problem. You cannot return now because we check for it. Previously, we checked for now. Something not equal to now. So that one is okay. This one we check the value directly. You cannot put now then. Okay? So that's, the, that, that's actually the second refresh that actually check for whether you need to update or not. Okay? Which I don't understand why it's so fast to take to the second time. Right? Means actually it's done two times, you know. First time actually it showed this. Oh, actually correct, huh? Correct lah. We load this, we load from database ma. Background, we go and fetch ma. And suddenly we check, eh? Same, no need to update. Return now, just fetch lah. Okay, end up, sorry. So now we go back to this. This one. So underscore ID equal to this side. Means actually if I delete, it should just clear nicely lah. Okay, just done. Why? Because the refresh is actually quite fast one. This refresh technically is quite fast because internal. It query from an internal database and since this is faster then we do a file search. It's all indexed, right? So that we just get very fast all the result and then just swap out all your data. So technically you can just do this up. Oh god. Okay, but you have to make sure. But technically after that you wouldn't get any data anymore until the next refresh. Huh? So don't do this. Huh? Actually we are going to uninstall it soon. Huh? Any questions? Huh? So if no question, I have to just comment this one out. So that you know how to use the idea in here. Okay? Oh no, at least I still show this. This is still retrieved. Just don't delete, don't refresh. Okay? That's all. This time we need it for the refresh button. Okay? We still need it because we still don't have a mechanism to... Oh no, what happened? Same also lah, because check not updated, nothing updated lah. Okay? That's, that's the refresh lah. Okay? This is the task. Okay, so now actually just to recap, how many places we actually use the database ah? The database, uh, the, uh, what we call the helper, is initialized once. Our SQL open helper. And then, we actually open the database at the beginning. We use the first time here is actually to query our result to put on the list view. Okay, then no more, no more, no more, no more. So in UI chat, right, we only use it you no know, actually two or twice. Uh. That's the first time we use it. Okay? In the background thread, we use it when we detect we need to fetch new data. We clear the table. Okay, that's the second time we use it. And finally, in a while loop, right? Every time there is a new result of a data, it's inserted into a database as each row. So it is, it's many, many times, huh? 52 times, huh? In, 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 I mean, exactly 52 times, huh? Because that's 
But now the value is a bit less. Uh. Just, just jump on the value. Uh. Uh, we miss the front. Uh. We? What's still there? Uh? We didn't delete it. We don't start transaction, don't you know? Why is it not? Huh? Why is it empty? Uh? Oh my god, no god. I think need a refresh. Uh. Again, uh, should not have the first few record. Remember, we all clear again. Uh, this is correct. We, we delete all the first 10 record. 1 to 10. So I see, sometimes this file refer, no need to refresh. Now we don't. So I also don't know what's the, what's the, remember right, sometimes we check right, we do something outside, we come here, it just got new right. But just now it's not ah. Uh, so I don't know the mechanism also ah. Uh. Okay. And now you get it uh, okay. So now this one is the, the, every time we use it. And finally, once we detect, actually we insert a lot of row. We also do another query again, uh, just to sort out the old data. Uh. Okay, so now let's continue. So this one, actually, you feel for most of you, actually, if you just want to use a SQL database, this one works. Means that's all you want. If you just want uh, using a SQL database, actually, uh, with a cursor adapter, this is okay, this is finished already. Okay, so what we are introduced today here, which is 